The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. Byron, how do you stop Austin from raising total hell? Listen, you've got to be the best version of yourself, and even that might not be enough to overcome Stone Cold. The Rattlesnake! And his opponent, from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! You know, there's no question, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't like a lot of people, but I think you can make the legitimate argument that Austin has never had more disdain for anyone than he has had for the game Triple H. Remember when Triple H was the accomplice to Rikishi's hit and run on Stone Cold Steve Austin? The cerebral assassin, Triple H, obviously one of the most psychotic human beings that perhaps any of us have ever encountered. You said it like it's a bad thing, Cole. Then you mix in that raging redneck, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and we've got a recipe for something special. Both men have an insatiable need to be the very best in this business, but their hatred for one another will make this battle even crazier. Stomping a mud hole in the opposition. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free from behind. Chop block. He knows how to avoid contact. Oh, brutal for him. Stone Cold too slow there. Into the ring now. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Triple H facing a beatdown. Yeah, Austin continues to unleash his aggression on Triple H. Being carried around with ease. What a Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Corey, Triple H is, of course, known as the cerebral assassin. Is it wise to try to outwit a competitor like him? The competition shouldn't so much as try to outwit or outplay the game, but instead just be patient. Don't try to come for the king and possibly miss. Let the king come to you and take your moment. He's returning fire. And off. 
Austin fends him off. And the manager is searching under the ring. She could only be looking for something nefarious down there. So much torque on the knee and ankle. of whether or not Triple H has still got it. Executed with absolute authority. And he slides him back to the mat. Yeah. Veteran instincts from Austin. Opportunity now for Austin to capture some momentum. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Absolutely spiked DDT. He wasted no time kicking out there. Amazing. Right on target with a stop to the gut. He's trying to rearrange the face. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. Triple H hooks the arms. This is vintage Hunter right here with a pedigree. Triple H has this all sewn up. Cover. Two. Oh, and he just kicked out. Austin somehow got the shoulder up. Intestinal fortitude on display from Stone Cold. And guys, Triple H is in a rare moment of confusion. The game thought he had enough to end this, but his instincts were wrong. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Oh, gets out of that by using a jawbreaker. He moves just in time. Austin with wow, a stutter by the rattlesnake. End of the line for the game. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Wow. Triple H survived that. Nothing can keep the game down when he's this determined, this possessed. And you've got to wonder if desperation starts to kick in for Stone Cold or if he stays the course. These men have unleashed extreme brutality on one another. Triple H and Stone Cold are at war, guys. Three. Stiff elbow will break that up. Tough position to be caught in here. Boom, head first. What are you guys 
ref's thinking. Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Staved off that attack. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. And Stone Cold in a very precarious position. Sometimes you stomp him. Oh. Here comes the game! Triple H doing whatever he wants to do. Oh, what a slam. Triple H looking at Austin with bad intentions. And finds a counter. Turn with counter fire. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Austin. It's game over, Cole. This is the type of action I love. Personal grudges simmer and simmer, and then they finally explode backstage, and two superstars square off, looking to take each other out with whatever comes to hand. Oh, enough is enough, Corey. If we let superstars make up the rules as they go along, we'll get nothing but anarchy. Anarchy, you say? <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me, Saxton. Ooh. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. He's got the answer for that one. Closed fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up a move. Stone Cold with a Texas pile driver. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Boom. To the back of the neck. Really just laying it in. Ah, Triple H counters. Oh, my God. Backbreaker classic game. Stone Cold with the Thez press. Thez press. Hit right away. So much damage inflicted. Oh, my God. The table has been set ablaze. That's not a table. It's a barbecue. Powerless position to be in right now. Down through the And will this be it? Fights the shoulder up at one. Fights back against Stone Cold. there. The game is one step ahead. Caught with a punch. What a spot. He thinks he has it. 
Somehow breaks the count immediately. Triple H looking at Austin with bad intentions. He saw it coming, taking advantage. From way up, rough landing. Oof, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Reversal from the game. Oh, my God. Extremely dangerous situation here. This loading dock is full of metal edges and hard surfaces. One false move, and you could easily get injured bad. That shot looks to have caused some bleeding from Triple H. Guys, come on! Someone could seriously get hurt back there. I'm pretty sure that's the point, Saxton. They didn't go back there to do any loading, just some unloading of vicious offense. Strong impact from Triple H! Yeah. Situational awareness with a knee to the abdomen. The list of superstars who have taken a tumble off that dock is long and illustrious. None of these competitors want to be added to it. Enough already. He just barely dodges. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches right. Oh, my God. These road cases are not very forgiving. They're definitely not made to fight on. Nice. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. concrete it's just the first hazard you see in this area there are about a hundred ways this could be ending in disaster down to bonus and a double axe handle smash all sorts of danger looming as this fight continues in the parking lot uh oh and Austin's plans fail there. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Hey, watch out! I haven't paid off that car! I don't think... Triple H hooks the arms. This is vintage Hunter right here with a pedigree! For the win! Two count! Oh, kick out, kick out of two. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Nothing but cold, hard concrete underneath these competitors now. Yeah, one nasty fall could be all it takes to change the complexion of this match. Dodged right on cue. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. to the dome. I'd say they should be careful over there, but I think danger is what they have in mind. They're out to cause real bodily harm. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Range down an elbow in retaliation. That should do it right there. One, two, three. That's it. The The game. 
has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. Next to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Here comes the Snake. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, there's no question, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin doesn't like a lot of people. But I think you can make the legitimate argument that Austin has never had more disdain for anyone than he has had for the game Triple H. Remember when Triple H was the accomplice to Rikishi's hit and run on Stone Cold Steve Austin? Standing match is the closest thing the WWE has to a full brawl. With the winner named after the opponent is incapacitated for the count of 10, anything goes here. That's true, Michael. Kendo sticks, chairs, tables, steel posts, steel chairs, steel stairs, whatever you can bring into hand is allowed. So, anything's possible. One thing I know for certain is that this match will have some ups and downs, some ebb and flow. The superstar that's looking good early could struggle late, and vice versa. We'll have no idea who the winner is until that ref makes that long count to 10. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Ooh, DDT delivered. Oh, turns the hammer into a 
projectile and nails it. He must have seen that coming. Ah, there's a running knee a la Harley Race. The Texas Rattlesnake not looking so deadly after taking that one. Yeah, an example of disparity between a high-level Triple H and his opponent. Back suplex. has turned his attention to the WWE faithful. This match isn't over yet. Guess he caught another win. And he's taking this to the outside now. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. All the way up. And the big-time powerbomb. That was one of those powerbombs that would shorten someone's career. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Veteran instincts from Triple H. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. Bang. Oh, right in there. Capitalizes against the game. He's back into the ring. And this count will stop. This is either grit, insanity, or a little bit of both. The Texas Rattlesnake rallying the people to his side. He's back on his feet and ready to keep going, it looks like. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Steve Austin playing one there. Oof. Austin building up speed. <laughs> right to the heart. And Austin is absolutely putting Triple H on notice. Oh, and a reversal. Triple H hooks the arms. This is Vintage Hunter right here for the pedigree. Wow, Triple H got it. Sending his opponent off. Reversal. Triple H with a knee to the face. What chaos. What brutality. Austin and Triple H are possessed. But only one is going to have his hand raised. Count still climbing. We're up to seven now. The cerebral assassin executing his game plan with that one. Both arms hooked. Double underarm hook. Blocked and into a close line. Stone Cold letting his feelings towards his opponent be well known. This packed house is going at fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Oh. Ooh. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Both back and forth, blow for blow, just teeing off on them. And just like that, the scales are imbalanced. Oh, Triple H counters. Triple H even more determined than ever now. Just letting his opponent know who the real top guy is. Up right now, and that stops the ref's count. Now that is determination. Punch lands. Up to seven now. 
This could be it. And he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Straight impact on the throat. That's seven. We may be getting to the end. We will go on. An agile escape. Taking it outside the ring now. Time to play the game. back to the match. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Tagging this outside. This could be good. The slow How do you recover from that? Such devastating offense from the game. Triple H just overloading Austin with more than he can handle. He's got the answer for that one. Austin is going to look to press on the advantage. The rattlesnake got played around with for too long. Now he wants to open a can. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. He'll take things into the ring.